Right, it's finally here. It's time to go do NC500. Absolutely buzzing and also shitting pants. Now, absolutely typical, it's absolutely pissing it down. I mean, we've got to get used to it, haven't we? Yeah, let's stay. So yeah, it wouldn't be like a Scotland trip without rain, would it? So we might as well get it out of the way early and then when we get up there, it'll be absolutely sensational. So if you don't know, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't know the plan, um, here's the plan. So I bought this 1150 GSA in July last year, um, specifically to do this one trip. Like I just got so envious of everybody last year doing it that I wanted to do it. So I bought this last year, my dad then went and bought a Tiger 1050 and we decided we're gonna do the NC500. But then when we ran it past the family and stuff, they, they wanted a piece of the action as well. So I've got wife, my mum and my little boy all coming along. They're in the car, we're on the bikes and we're all gonna do our own thing and then meet up at the end of the day. So there's the plan. So the route, the route is we're going from here to Edinburgh day one, from Edinburgh to Inverness day two, um, from basically Inverness to Wick, John O'Groats, day three, and then we go Tong, Ullapool, Applecross, Glencoe, Glasgow, and then home the day after Glasgow. So we've got a right trip. We're doing it over nine days in total, and I wanted to take you all along for the ride, so no more messing about outside. I suppose we'd better go north. And so we did, we went north. And as we went north, I was in a good mood. There was nothing that was gonna dampen my spirits. I'd been building this trip up for a good six months and even this rain wasn't gonna ruin things for me. Luckily, I was warm and the wet weather gear was doing what it needed to do. After about seven hours of travel time, total travel time, we eventually got there. Saturated, but happy. We arrived at the lovely five-star Premier Inn with loads of time left to go and get a cracking brewer's fair tea. Just what any traveller needs. Well, what can I say, that was absolutely horrific. The, um, not just the worst day on a motorbike, but the worst travel day I've ever had in my life. Hope you can hear me. Um, but what can we say, um, basically past Newcastle, it, it turned it on, wind, rain, awful. Uh, so uh, welcome to Scotland. Day two, um, we're going from Edinburgh to Inverness via petrol station in Perth and then to Aviemore, the ski resort, because I'm a skier, so we, we thought it'd cool to check that out. But I've got um, Ziploc bags on my feet because they're absolutely saturated, but we've got a full belly and it was a, a decent one. Are you looking forward to today, Dad? I am looking forward to it. Hello. Yes, I am. Yeah, so it should be good. Hopefully we get a bit better weather. At the minute, it's just like misly. <sighs> Um, but not like peeing it down and I don't know, who knows, it is what it is. So let's go day two, Edinburgh to Inverness. And the day started just as the previous day. It was wet, wet, wet and wind, wind, wind and we had zero visibility. As we went over the fourth bridge, I could see none of the beautiful views. But then a miracle happened and it cleared up and I could see more than 100 feet in front of my face. But then the inevitable happened. It was always going to come at some point. So that didn't take long, did it? So I've lost my dad. Um, he went straight on when I went where we needed to go left and I did not want to miss the turning because I was on like one bar of fuel. So he's lost and I, yeah, I don't know. I says to him, right, BP, the BP on the A9, it's literally just off the A9 on the road to Inverness. Right, 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 it's just rang me. Oh yeah, to add to things. Is intercom isn't working at all. Um, it's so wet from yesterday that the microphone doesn't work. So um, it just rang me and it says I'm at a, I'm at a BP, but it's not the right one. So so that's it. So we're solo now. So it's solo. It's 80 miles, literally. A9 the whole way. 80 miles to Inverness, where we'll meet up in the Tesco car park. So it was music in time. I just dialed that headphones in, baby. 
got a little podcast going and it was perfection. I relaxed, there were trees, there were views. It was magnificent. I'd got that little bit of something I was looking for. And after the day before in that rain on the dual carriageway all day, boy, was I happy. There we go, touchdown Inverness. Um, no, no, touchdown Aviemore. I need a hat. Because it's peeing it down again. But yeah, made it, that was nice. Nice little spell. It was nice to see some mountains. Um, actually, I felt like, hopefully, what it's going to be like when we get to the actual interesting stuff. Because, you know, this is just still crappy A roads at the minute. But just met some interesting young lads who said, it great me, 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 me. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pretended I understood them. Literally another language. It's a good meet, we're meeting. I said, oh, I'm on a. I'm on an old BMW, they said, you be, ye, 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 ye. So we just nodded at each other and smiled and then I walked away. But today is a much better day than it was yesterday. I can't tell you how nice it was to just see something other than rain spray. And okay, that's my pannier broken. I think I'm gonna need some duct tape for that. There we go. That should do the trick. We left Aviemore via a B road, the first B road we'd been on the whole trip and it was beautiful. It was majestic and finally me and my dad did actually get back together again. We were soon in Inverness where we unfortunately it got back to the classic Scottish weather and we got piddled on the whole time piddled on and the winds picked up we crossed the bridge as we got closer and closer to our accommodation and I thought it was game over for me I thought it was death time there we go day two in the books um, yeah so with Emery I think that's kind of it one minute you think you're all right and the weather's all right and then the next minute it turns like that again and um, that was horrible coming over that bridge at the end there like Literally leaning inside it is the whole time just hanging on for dear life, but it was good. And we've turned up at this place, it looks amazing. I'm hoping the weather will sort of blow through a little bit and um, then I can show you what's going on because it looks absolutely stunning, proper stunning, cool place. So uh, thanks for watching this far. Now, now we're in Inverness effectively, the NC500 starts. The, this last two days of getting here, I've just been getting here. So hopefully now, we get to the interesting stuff. Tomorrow is from Inverness to Wick. Basically, John O'Groats, the highest point in the UK. So, let's go for it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the real adventure that's going to come in, I guess, episode two. Like it, comment, do what you got to do. But thanks for watching. Bye.